Here we are in week three of our study of a better, a different kind of Christmas by Mike Slaughter. And this begins week three of our daily devotionals. This title is Scandalous Love. Christmas is when God shows up in the unexpected, to the unaccepted, to the fragile, the poor, and the disenfranchised. When the king of the universe comes to redeem his creation, he chooses the form of a vulnerable baby born to humble parents. His mother, an unwed teen, calls into question the legitimacy of his birth to a skeptical culture. His town of birth, Bethlehem, belongs to one of the least prestigious and least powerful tribes in Israel. His birth is first revealed to unclean shepherds who are alienated from full participation in the religious institutions of their people. God then shares the revelation with the Magi, foreigners from the East who are Gentile infidels. Why does God choose such unlikely ways of revealing himself? He does so to make it perfectly clear through the miracle of Christmas that he is willing to risk it all in an urgent attempt to save us all, no exceptions. He is a God of scandalous love. So how do we respond to this incredible gift, this crazy excess of love? Matt, a technician on the road from job site to site, stocks his work van with hats and gloves to pass through windows to the homeless. Beth, a young school teacher, has used her Christmas break for five straight years to lead Hurricane Katrina rebuilding trips to the Gulf. Dan is working hard for bush pilot certification, ready to fly in supplies and hope in Africa after retirement. Dr. Samuel goes to Jamaica time and time again, a Pied Piper who recruits medical personnel to provide care to the indigent. Hundreds of Ginghamsburg families intentionally choose to live more simply each Christmas so that others may simply live. Hun These families gave nearly six million in eight miracle offerings to save the lives of people they will never meet. Why? For the love of Christ compels us. 2 Corinthians 5, 14. Your challenge this week is to first accept that scandalous love is your own, and then to live it generously for others.